Hello, my name is Sven Shaw. I'm a designer, illustrator and artist and last week I finished a mural at Bradford Interchange on the uh, slope coming down from the train station which was quite a big project, massive wall and I just thought I would make a little video to show how I went about making it. So I was approached by the Bradford Bid which is the business improvement district to brighten up the interchange ramp which is the main entrance to and exit out of the city as it was in need of quite a lot of attention it was looking very scruffy the first thing i did was i went down there and measured the ramp now with those measurements i then used a program called sketchup which is a free online 3d drawing software and used that program to draw the wall in a 3D mock-up. So the results were this, which as you can see it's a very plain wall. There's a dude stood there, he's actual life-size. So it's a massive massive wall as you can see and I needed to fill it. So I came up with some concept designs. So using the SketchUp model I then use a combination of Photoshop and Illustrator to draw some of the buildings and uh, other ideas which could go on there. So with that decided I set about finalising the concepts and narrowing down the buildings to be painted onto the wall. With those decided on I then set about the final sketches. So I drew those first of all in pencil in a layout pad and then made them neater in pen and scanned them all into my computer. I then imported them into SketchUp and actually put them onto the 3D model. They're all roughly the same scale as each other and it just gave me a better idea of how they would fit in the different sections of the wall so that when it came to start painting it there wouldn't be any issues with me getting the wrong scale and some this is spinal tap stonehenge type uh, mistakes on sketchup there's a good feature which allows you to measure the uh, dimensions of what you're what you're working on and it scales it up so if you click on the tape measure tool you can then measure each part of your 3d model and this was useful to me because I could find out exactly how big it was going to be scaled up when I came to painting it. I then transferred those to the printed out sketches. As you can see, I tried to put as many measurements on there as possible so there was going to be no room for error when I came to painting it on the wall. So I took these sketches with me down to the ramp to get started but before I could start drawing the architecture I had to paint all the backgrounds so the walls were first whitewashed by very helpful people at Community Repaint so they started off by whitewashing all the walls and then I went down there and painted the background colours in. For the drawing I use these paint pens which are called Posca pens um, they're basically like markers but with paint in them a bit more permanent. Using my architectural drawings I started measuring each line and basically using a ruler and laboriously drawing each line to scale. Also it's quite handy using the bricks of the wall itself so that I knew that each line was going to be perfectly horizontal and all parallel with each other. I did 11 of these all featuring famous buildings in Bradford and I finally finished them off by going over the outlines with a thicker Posca pen just to make them a bit clearer and so that it gave them a bit of depth as well. And then it was finished! So the interchange everyone agreed looks a lot brighter and more inviting and I got a lot of good feedback from members of the public whilst I was drawing it, which is always encouraging. So if you if you can impress the people of Bradford, then I think you're doing pretty well. So go and check it out for yourself. It's at Bradford Interchange. Just 
immediately upon leaving the station you'll see it and yeah it's there for all of you to enjoy so i'll see you next time and take care bye bye